video, I'm going to show you how to get instant picks against the Bunch Y Flex in Madden 22. I'm going to show you the best way to defend this formation. Bunch Y Flex is one of the new formations that was added to Madden 22. And if you're running Carolina Bunch or Indianapolis Bunch, you're going to see that occasionally people will audible to this. Astro, I think, has made this formation famous. Astro is one of the best offensive players in the world. I think he plays for the AAT crew. Uh, but this guy is absolutely lethal on the offensive side of the ball. And it's primarily because of this bunch wide flex. So in this video, I wanted to take a look at how Palms coverage is going to play against this, how we can make this uh, a pretty decent defense, really kind of defend this very similarly to the way we're going to defend bunch tight end, the way we're going to defend bunch, any kind of bunch type set. I really do like this defense for it. So uh, we're going to jump into this video. If you've not subscribed yet, I would really encourage you to do that. Uh, I'm in the San Francisco playbook. You could do this out of any playbook that has Palms. But I like San Francisco's nickel normal the most. I got a full ebook on it in the Patreon membership, which you can get access to by joining the Patreon in the link in the description below. For only 10 bucks, you're not only going to get access to the nickel normal defense, but you're getting access to everything. Every ebook that I've done offensively, defensively, everything, literally everything, you get access to all of it for just one price of 10 bucks. So I think it's the best deal that you're going to get all year. So check out that Patreon. If you enjoy the video, link is in the description to go check that out. But what we're going to do... We come out in palms, and what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our defense, crash our lineup a couple times, and then we're going to bring our user down. And we're basically going to play this almost exactly the same as playing bunch and as playing bunch tight end. We're going to put our defensive tackle on the running back side in a quarterback spy. We're going to take the defensive tackle on the right side or the bunch side, and we're going to put him in a bluff blitz. We're going to blitz our user so that that triggers this say, uh, backside guy to play that tight end on a vertical. And then we're also going to man lock or man up that middle linebacker on the number three receiver in the bunch um, to help us significantly defend the play verticals and really all of the flooding concepts that you're going to get. And what you're going to notice here is, let's say, for example, that they like to run this uh, dagger type of play. Uh, this dagger play is really good. Your primary responsibility as a user is you're going to work to this trips and you're really looking for a crosser from the trips. If you see a crosser, you're going to take that. Tight end goes vertical. Okay, we're going to release that, come over here. And as you see, we're able to kind of lurk on these uh, crossers. Now, uh, the best play from Bunch Y Flex by far is this verticals play for several reasons. Um, one of the reasons is the fact that you can, I mean, there's just so much you can do with this play. But, you know, what you get is you could do some of this where you like motion out and out route. And what that's going to do in palms is you're actually going to get man lock on that on that out route. So now where we're going to run into some issues, and this is why it's really important to man up that number three receiver. If we don't man him up, that outside quarter defender is going to take that. Every single, let me just show you without manning it up real quick, and then I'll show you how the man up really solves that. So they're in verticals. And this is what Astro likes to do. We're going to get a vertical there. We've got the out route. And then we can take the back and we can isolate him. We can either put him on in. We can put him on out. We can put him on option. But really the read here is oftentimes we're going to be able to hit that route to Miller. Or they come off of that route so fast that the crosser is absolutely wide open. So I'll show you what that looks like as well uh, real quick. Palms actually played that fairly okay. Uh, but what you're going to see is, and this is what Astro really hits a lot, is this little quick seam uh, to this vertical route because it's such a sharp cut. You're going to see right here, look at how that runs. And then you can wait on that, of course, and get it to cross the face. So where the palms coverage really is beneficial is you're going to be able to open to that side of the field with McCordy, okay, with this free safety. You don't have to worry about anything on the backside. You don't have to hold over here. So you can feel free to open up to this side. And now what you're going to see in this verticals concept is there's really not a lot open. Um, you're going to see here, I'm going to rise up here and play this. And as you can see, the coverage really does a decent job. Now, if that running back goes to the flat, um, this is something really important. So uh, if you get something like this, where they're going to run the running back on a, so they're going to go to verticals, and but they're going to run the running back on an underneath route, and they're going to try to clear space with Brown. So it looks something like this. Okay, uh, this is a little bit difficult to defend in this in particular defense because your user can't use the running back route and the vertical route. So you're going to rise and you're going to go to the vertical, but notice that you get a match on the vertical. Now, this is something that's really cool about how we're going to be able to defend 
specifically bunch wide flex motioned out when they motion that out against palms because he's the number two receiver and we've man locked on the number three receiver the quarter flat is actually going to match him all the way across the formation and what that's going to allow us to do is now our user is free to kind of hand him off to that player so you're going to see it looks like this again so we open we open up here we see oh he's matched on him so now i'm free to come down in here and i mean you know nothing's a real good read uh in all that we get really really good coverage now another play that i want to hit on real quick is dig return i think dig return one of the better plays in this formation um because of the fact that you can actually turn this into a fairly decent uh bomb and i'll just show you what i'm getting at here so dig return what we're going to do is we're going to streak r1 what you should see here is this vertical streak um actually we're able to play that fairly all right because we got the man coverage from phillips or from the from the slot but if you don't do the adjustments that i'm uh, that i'm recommending that you do out of dig return and out of dagger as well but definitely out of dig return oftentimes this r1 will get open it's actually not getting open that well here in regular bunch it does in bunch y flex i guess it doesn't get open as badly um but it still is something you need to watch out for okay that's why you always 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 want to be opening to the bunch side to deter any kind of deep bomb or any kind of concept like that because when you open to the side of the bunch oftentimes what the user will naturally do is they'll naturally go ahead and just kind of look back if you want to man lock on the tight end meaning man up the outside quarter on the tight end you can you're going to get a jam on the tight end which could be advantageous um i like to just leave the the the, the general zone um, because if the tight end runs under in the example of dagger um watch what happens so the tight end's going to run under you're going to see you get you still get the man lock but he actually plays it really well and oftentimes i think he actually plays better coverage when he's in the quarter than when he's in the actual manned up assignment on him so my advice would just be press that quarter and you're going to find that it plays fairly effectively now the next thing that i want to hit on real quick is a standard kind of flooding combination um out of the z spot for example so if they run z spot and they do that little vertical streak and then you know on the back side here you might get like a post and then you might get you know just some kind of basic route to the back uh what you're gonna see is again we're gonna open up to this side but once we see a flood we no longer have to worry about it we know this is good defense for flood and as you can see that quarter flat defender does exactly what we want him to do uh in terms of being able to get out there and being able to defend that that route now, the one route that I want to talk about just real briefly here before we take off is the play bench pivot. I think bench pivot's one of the more underrated plays from this formation. I wish they, I wish this playbook had uh, the dig, the dig return route. Now, please respect the fact that I do have a linebacker out here. I didn't put a corner or a safety, so he's going to play a little bit better. But you've got this really crazy route to the back too on the back side of this, which is actually a really good route. But the bottom line here is if you watch this man up assignment. He, he does sometimes get burned to the sideline. So if they're running a lot of that specific concept, then what you can do out of palms that I really like is we can actually treat this borderline like trips tight end. And so what that's going to mean is we're going to actually man up or we're going to take this um, linebacker and we're going to go ahead and just put him to the flat. Okay, so we're just going to put Hightower to the flat. And then now what you're going to see is we're going to have a little bit better of a chance at guarding that. So if they're running a lot of dig return, you might consider doing something like, or not dig return, but bench pivot. You might consider doing something like this because now you've got really, really good leverage on that route. As you can see, we still have the deep safety over the top that's going to be able to protect us in case we get anything like that. Um, another little trick that you could do if you wanted to, if you have any fear of getting burned over the top, go ahead and deep half that right side guy. And then what you want to do with your guy in the middle of the field is go ahead and just put him on a mid read. That's just going to help kind of defend the verticals route, or you can even put him on a purple zone. Um, but something like that, then you're not really vulnerable to a fade. And then like I said, you still have freedom to use her, but now you've got really good box coverage 
on that pivot route. So anyways, guys, that's kind of a basic overview of how I like to defend Bunch Y Flex. I really do believe that Bunch Y Flex is one of the more slept on formations in the game. There's a lot of things that you can do with this formation. It's got great spacing and it's just got really good route combos. So if you've not tried it out yet, be sure to try it out. But if you want to stop it or someone's audibling to it, this is my favorite defense for doing that. Also, if you want to learn more about this uh, defense or just more about how to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. We've got a full ebook on this defense. We've also got 13 other ebooks that you can access and use to become a better Madden player. So if you've not signed up for the Patreon membership yet, there's a link in the description below and uh, you can sign up for that. Just head on down, click that link if you want to sign up and you can cancel your membership whenever you want. But uh, it's just the best, I think it's just the best deal that I've got for you. Uh, for just 10 bucks, you're going to get immediate access to 13, maybe 14 guides. And then you're going to have more along the way. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time.